And good evening, football fans. Welcome once again to the Intermountain Sports Network. We're at Prestonsburg High School, Josh Francis Field, and it's a regional championship game. The Prestonsburg Black Cats hosting the Belfry Pirates. This is Ken Hall along with Chuck Scoble. We've got Brian Lee on camera and an added feature tonight, Charlie Pinson down on the sideline. And uh, Chuck, what a, what a great atmosphere here. The, the stands are packed, and uh, this, this is a big game. The winner goes on to the state semifinals. I think this is just going to be a wonderful ball game. We talked about this Wednesday night, but there's no way that <clears throat> Belfry is going to play as poorly as they did the first time around against Prestonsburg. They had that big comeback victory uh, over Breathitt County on the road last week. They're fired up. They want to show everybody what they're made of. And, of course, Prestonsburg defending the championship uh, of the district and region here on their home field. Uh, it's going to be a war out there, and it's going to be a good one, and I'm just glad to be part of it. Uh, it's, it should be a great game. Uh, Charlie Penson, good to have you with us down on the field and uh, quite an atmosphere here. Well, you know, it is, Ken. I mean, it's just uh, tremendously loud down here. I can barely hear over these headsets as the you look up these stands. It's full of red and black as both teams are dressed in red. And you can see the Belfry fans just walking off the field after they have their traditional tunnel before they start the ball game. And uh, this, uh, these two teams met during the regular season, of course. Prestonsburg won a game right here, 40 to 14. Uh, of course, uh, Belfry uh, destroyed that night with turnovers. Seven fumbles lost, uh, seven turnovers that night, six of them in the first half. But uh, as you mentioned last week's uh, comeback over Bradford County, has to give this Pirate team a lot of confidence coming in here. Yeah, they didn't play the pass very well the first time around against Prestonsburg, and then they faced a team last week that's an excellent passing team, and uh, they picked off uh, the quarterback, Haddix, of Breathitt County four times. Uh, a couple of those interceptions coming late in the ball game to seal that comeback win, so I think they're going to play the pass a lot better. They're going to hold on to the ball better. This is going to be a close, hard-fought ball game. Whoever comes out of here is going to... They're going to know they've been in a, in a ball game, and uh, they're going to be mighty proud because these are two fine football teams. Whoever wins here has got a lot to be proud of. Uh, yes, they have. Uh, they will. Like I said, they'll advance on to the state semifinals next week to take on the winner of Mason County and Fleming County, who are about to kick off right now. And uh, that, that will be an away game for uh, whichever team wins well, here tonight. I was in Fleming and Mason County last week. I, if I'd have known, I'd have stopped by and talked to some folks for well, you. Well, that would have been good. <laughs> had, them, had them prepared to, yeah. that, that we're coming their way because we uh, definitely be there to bring you the coverage here on the Intermountain Sports Network. We appreciate you being with us here all season, uh, this great football season we've had. and. Uh, uh, we've, we've covered a lot of games, covered all the teams in the area, and, uh, of course, none of them have looked better than this Prestonsburg team as they've only had one defeat all season, and uh, this, this should be a great ball game. They started out slow last week and uh, kind of confused me a little bit by coming out throwing the football quite a bit, but in the second half, they just went back to what they did all season long and what they do best, running the ball and running the ball and playing great defense and uh, after only leading six to nothing at halftime they scored 27 in that third quarter and put Leslie County away and it was an impressive second half showing by the Black Cats. Yeah, it looks like we're ready to get this one underway. Belfry will be kicking off as Prestonsburg wins the coin toss. And Joey Ramey kicking it off. It's picked up at the 24-yard line up across the 30. Jervis. And brought down at the 29-yard line. Chris Jervis on the return, <coughs> like you said. And Prestonsburg will take over at their own 29, first and 10. For everybody wondering why Charlie Pinson's on the sideline tonight, I heard Melissa Stark had the flu and wasn't available, so uh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we're glad to have Charlie. We've had a lot of fun with him this year doing college sports. Joey Willis in the shotgun. Hands it off to Matt Sloan over the left side. He cuts it up, gets across the 30, out to a 32-yard line. Pick up of three on the carry for Matt Sloan. Yeah, it's good pursuit by the Belfry defense. Well, Ken, you alluded to a couple of milestones uh, set by the Black Cats last week in that playoff game. Uh, Matt Sloan went over 2,000 yards rushing for the season, and in the same game, Michael Fannin went over 1,000 yards. That's pretty impressive in one backfield. It certainly is. 
Joey Willis under center this time. It's second and seven for the Black Cats. Eye formation behind him. Here's Sloan over the right side. He gets across the 35, keeps pushing forward and gets out to the 38-yard line. He's going to be about a yard short of the first down. He's, he's very close to the 39. The uh, first down marker just across the 39, so that's going to leave Prestonsburg with a third and short. It'll be less than a yard needed for the first down. Yeah, as Willis brings him up, he'll be under center. He's got the eye formation behind him with Fannin and Sloan. He takes it, and it's Sloan again over the right side. He's across the 40 and brought down at the 43-yard line. It's a first down, Prestonsburg. So the first three plays of the game, all running plays to Matt Sloan. Belfry not giving up much yardage, but Prestonsburg fighting ahead, getting enough for the first down. First and 10 now from their own 43 for the Black Cats. Just underway here. Willis once again is going to be under center. High formation behind him. And he takes it, gives it off to Fannin this time, and he's breaking tackles, gets down up to midfield, in fact. A nice run by Fannin. And they're going to spot it back at the 49, pick up of six on the play for Fannin. That'll leave the Black Cats with a second and four. Fannin doesn't have blazing speed, but he's strong and he hits the hole fast. He has very good cutback abilities. We saw some tremendous runs from oh, last week. Oh, yeah, that week. one play last week was fantastic. And here's Sloan with it again over the left side. Not much there, but he's breaking tackles. Gets across midfield to the 49-yard line. Only picked up a couple on that play. And that's going to leave Prestonsburg with a third and short once again. It'll be third and two this time. As the Black Cats keeping it on the ground so far. Starting out very conservative, Ken. Uh, just feeling out the defense and just hammering it straight ahead right now. Willis under center. High formation behind him. Austin Clark split out wide left. Here's the pitch to Sloan over the right side, and he cuts it up. He's across the 45 and down to the 41-yard line. A nice run by Matt Sloan. Good blocking outside. Michael the Fannin Bucats. with a key block there to give Sloan that room. Yeah, as they spotted at the 42-yard line, pick up a seven on the run for Sloan. Another first down for Prestonsburg. We've played three minutes. Prestonsburg grinding it out on the ground. Willis under center. Takes the snap. Here's a pitch to Sloan over the left side. And great pursuit by the Belfry defense. He's hit in the backfield for a loss. Back at the 43-yard line, loss of one on the play. Belfry's linebackers that time kind of hanging off the line of scrimmage, waiting to see what was going to happen. And then they charged through the gaps and brought Sloan down for a loss. Yeah, it's going to leave the Black Cats with a second and 11. And we might see our first pass of the game here. Willis under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. Here's a handoff to Fannin, and not much there. He gets one yard, maybe two at the most. Now they're yep. going to give him two, third and a long nine. Third and nine for the Prestonsburg Black Cats at their own, or at the Belfry 42. Willis takes the snap, hands it off to Sloan going to the outside. He turns the corner. He's inside the 30, the 25, the 20. Matt Sloan down to the 17-yard line, and another Prestonsburg first down. Pickup of about 25 that time, and he beat the defender, number 27, to the corner, William Blackburn, and had plenty of room after that. Man, what a fine running back Matt Sloan is. He, uh, he can pound it up inside all day long. Uh, runs hard, hard to bring down, pick up those, uh, those tough yards inside, but boy, when he gets outside, he shows some tremendous speed. And Willis under center, high formation behind him. It's an end around. And Spriggs. Spriggs inside the 15, down to the 10. Chris Spriggs. Yes, he picks up seven yards on the carry. 
And Charlie Penson, uh, Prestonsburg moving the ball on the ground. Well, you know, the Prestonsburg offensive line is doing a good job in there. Uh, Belfry started clogging up the middle. They saw the outside backers coming in tight, so the coaching staff over here at Prestonsburg started trying to move it to the outside, and it's been effective. Yes, yeah, it's second and three now for the Black Cats from the 10-yard line. Willis in the shotgun this time. Gives it to Sloan over the left side. He's inside the 10 and down, looks like to the eight yard line. I believe he's gonna be about a yard short of the first down. And that'll bring up a third down and short for the Black Cats. Inside the Belfry 10 yard line as they're threatening and uh, Chuck, this is quite a drive here. They've used up almost half of this first quarter. Six minutes, 12 seconds to go here in the first quarter. I'm sure it's not bothering John DeRossett a bit. As long as he wins this ball game, he doesn't care if it takes, uh, you know, eight or nine minutes, three yards at a clip or one big play. Here's Sloan up the middle and he's mad immediately. And I don't know if he got a yard or not. I don't believe he did. That's one of the few times we've seen him get stacked up for no gain this year. And no gain on the play. That's going to bring up a fourth and one for the Black Cats. And a big call here. What do you expect down there, Charlie? <laughs> well, you know, I look for him maybe to go with his Matt Sloan on the, on the end around, try to get him to the outside a little bit. Willis under center, high formation behind him. Here's the pitch to Sloan going to the outside. And great pursuit by the Pirates. Fun the ball comes loose, and Belfry yeah, has it. Matt Hale, I think, number 17, coming up with the fumble. And a big defensive stand by the Belfry Pirates as Prestonsburg had a second and short at the 10-yard line. Second and three, and uh, three consecutive plays, unable to pick up the first down. Sloan fumbled on the play. I think that's uh, irrelevant, though. I don't believe he was going make to the, make the first down. Fannin went out there on the lead block, but there were three other people out there, and he could only take out one of them, and Sloan uh, got hammered right at the line of scrimmage. And here come the Belfry Pirates. Daniel Wright at quarterback. He takes the snap, hands it off up the middle, and I believe that's uh, Howard on the carry, Doug Howard. Big hit on the outside there by Matt Hale on Andrew Howell, way away from the play. As Howard gets out to the 12, a pickup of two on the carry. Second and eight now for the Pirates. Doug Howard's been a good change of pace running back for Belfry. We've got Howard and Jonah Cottle and B.J. Wallace all in the backfield. Wright takes the snap and handoff once again to the first man. I think through. there's a fumble. And Preston's Burke looks like they have the ball, and they do. It's a turnover Belfry. I saw that ball squirting out on the ground there, and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't believe my eyes, but it was. Yes, I believe that was Doug Howard on the carry. Uh, ball knocked loose, and Prestonsburg comes up with it. Big turnover as the Black Cats in great position here. It'll be first and 10 from the Belfry 15-yard line. Well, Belfry's got to let this fumble not affect them because, you know, as, as many times as they lost the ball last time, you know, you could be very easily tempted to say, uh-oh, here we go again. Right, right. And Willis takes it, pitches it to Phantom this time going to the outside. Good He's block. inside the 10, the 5. And touchdown, Festensburg, Michael Fannin. 15-yard run. And uh, Charlie Pinson right there on the spot. Uh, quite a run there, Charlie, around the end by Michael Fannin. Well, you know, they got the ball to Fannin on the pitch out. Got a good block out of the backfield, and he just turned it on and sprinted all the way down the sideline. Nobody even touched him to get in the end zone. And Festensburg goes up 6 to nothing. 4.35 to go in the first quarter. As Willis lines up under center, they're going for two. High formation behind him. Willis fakes it to Sloan, rolls out to the left. He's looking to pass. He's got time. Fires it in the end zone, and it's caught. Two-point conversion good. That's Austin Clark on the reception, and Prestonsburg goes up 8 to nothing with 4.35 to go. We'll kick it back to the station and be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. And once again, Chuck, here's uh, Belfry a turnover, and it really cost him. Prestonburg so impressive. Sloan and Fannin just know what each other's going to do. They block well for each other. That time it was a block by Sloan that sprung Fannin for the touchdown. 
And here's a squib kick, and Belfry having all kinds of trouble getting on the ball. Finally, uh, B.J. Wallace falls on it back at the 21-yard line. As Belfry will have a first and 10 from their own 21. And kind, kind of surprising to see the Black Cats go for two there. Most of the time this season, they've uh, they've kicked the extra point. And, uh, yeah, Aaron Neely's been a pretty good kicker for them. Neely's done a fine job this year, but uh, gives them a big boost here going up eight to nothing. Daniel Wright under center. He takes the snap. And once again, the first man through. And we're going to have a uh, late hit. Yeah, I think Doug Howard was the ball carrier. And uh, <clears throat> that was John Hunt of Prestonsburg uh, hitting right in the back uh, well after the play was over. And that'll cost him 15 yards. Howard picked up two or one yard on the carry was all. 15 yards marked off by the official. Take it out to the 37 yard line and Belfry a first and 10. And I'm sure Coach DeRossi not happy with that. Uh, don't, don't want to make those kind of mistakes in a big no. game like this. Uh, quite, quite a late hit there, wasn't it, Charlie? Oh, there was no doubt about it. I mean, Wright had already given the ball up. Actually, the whistle had already blown as well, so no doubt. And here's the pitch to Caldwell going around the right side. He gets a couple oh. 30, and he is drilled, driven out of bounds. Andrew Howell, one of the players up to meet him. I think Matt Sloan may have been the other one, along with number 21, John Hunt. Yeah, Matt Sloan, Matt Sloan laid a lick on him as he came across the 40 right there. Yeah, as they spot it right on the 40, pick up a three yards for Caldwell. That'll be second and seven now for Belfry. Right under center. Here's the handoff over the left oh. side, and Brant Brooks just drills B.J. Wallace in the backfield for a loss. What a hit by Brant Brooks. As soon as Wallace had the ball, he didn't have a chance to turn up field before he got leveled. And they spotted at the 39-yard line, loss of one on the play. And that'll leave Belfry now with a third and long. It'll be third and eight. Brooks. I think that the uh, Prestonsburg coaching staff has seen some kind of tendency where they're leaning to one side or the other, and they've got an automatic blitz called on a play like that. Third and eight now, right under center. Takes a snap, fakes a handoff. He backs up to pass. He fires it down the left side for Cottle. Cottle's out there and incomplete. Just overthrows him and great pressure by the Black Cats as uh, Brant Brooks in the backfield as uh, I believe that was Tony White back there that, that hit right just as he released the ball. I tell you what, now you talk Tony about White. Brant Brooks blitzing. Uh, last week he had a whale of a game against Leslie County and uh, Prestonsburg just does a great job changing up and switching their stunts and blitzes. You never know who's going to come or when or from what angle, and uh, they can create a lot of problems. And B.J. Wallace back to punt for Belfry. Chris Briggs, and I'm not sure who the other return man is. Normally Nicholas Jamerson, but I, I believe can't that see might the be Matt Sloan back there. Got a flag down. A nice high kick by Wallace. Fair catch called for by Chris Briggs back yeah. at the 26, but a flag back near the punter. Normally the Jamerson, the kick returner, but they had Matt Sloan back there this time. Right. Shows you what a big game this is. <laughs> As Sloan playing both sides of the ball most of the regular season, he's uh, he played primarily against offense. Belfry. Yeah, that'll be a legal motion on Belfry as they had a player coming off the sideline that never did get set. He came in late and just couldn't get set before the snap. And Prestonsburg declines the penalty. So they'll take over at their own 27 yard line, first and 10. Thought they might accept that. Yeah, that was because, a fairly uh, good a punt, with, nice no punt return. with no return. But uh, they decide to uh, go ahead and take the ball. Of course, if you kick it again, there's always that chance. You know, you might have the big play, or you could muff it and fumble it. So right. I guess they feel that an egg in the basket's uh, better than one in the <laughs> bush, or whatever they used to say. 2:45 to go in the first quarter. It's eight to nothing, Prestonsburg. Willis takes it, hands it off to Matt Sloan, trying to get to the outside and cuts it back, gets up to the 30-yard line, pick up a three on the play. 
And we'll leave Prestonsburg with second and seven. Well, I don't know what colleges are looking at Matt Sloan, but there should be a bunch because the kid, besides being quick and able to bounce to the outside, he's a good, tough, solid runner, and uh, he takes a pound in every game and bounces back for more. And uh, you know, the hard worker of the, any any college around these parts would be happy to have him. They should be thrilled to have him. And here, Willis fakes the handoff to Sloan. He's back looking to pass. Fires it over the middle for Spriggs. Spriggs has got it. And he's in boundary Beautiful territory. Pass. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Right in between double coverage. Spriggs pulls that one in. Beautiful pass, and Spriggs waited on it and reached up and pulled it in. And good play action pass there by Joey Willis. Yeah. First pass of the game other than the two-point conversion, which Willis completed to Austin Clark. Spriggs a good tall receiver at 6'3", too. You can loft that ball up, and he can pull it down for you. And here's a pitch to Fannin over the left side. We've got a flag down. He gets across the 40, down to the 38. And we've got a flag down in the backfield, probably got holding. A hold. Well, it wasn't against Matt Sloan, because he just blocked the heck out of somebody here to try to spring Fannin. It was in the line there somewhere. Yeah, did you see the hold, Charlie? Well, the official pointed to number 88. He said he grabbed him up as he came around, but no, Matt Sloan did lay a heck of a block on the outside there. Thomas Nelson called for the hold. So that's going to back it up, 10 yards. That's 10 yards from the spot of the foul, so the ball all the way back in Prestonsburg territory at the 45-yard line, so that's going to leave the Black Cats now with a first and 22. Willis in the shotgun, fakes it to Sloan. He's looking to throw again, fires it deep down the left side, going for Austin Clark, and overthrows him. Good coverage back there by number 27, William Blackburn of the Pirates. Yeah, that time Clark did not have much separation from the defensive back and the uh, ball overthrown as well. It'll be second and 22 now for the Black Cats. <clears throat> and Willis comes out in the shotgun once again. He's got Sloan to his right, Fannin to his left. Here's the snap. Willis fakes the short pass now, looking long again, going deep for Chris Jervis, and right on the money. Oh, boy. The great coverage back there. Who was that, Jonah? No, that's number 14. Number 14 is Tyler Bostic. Great job by Bostic, as Willis put it right on the money once again to Chris Jervis, but Bostic there to break it up. Jervis looks like he might be a little bit shaken up, kind of favoring that ankle as he comes off the sideline. So Prestonsburg now looking at a third and long. It's third and 22 from their own 45-yard line. Willis fakes the handoff to Sloan. He's looking. Now rolls back to the middle of the field, fires it deep down the right side, and he's got Chris Briggs inside the 20, the 15, and down to the 13-yard line, Chris Briggs. A 42-yard pickup. And, uh, boy, I tell you, Joey Willis is on the money tonight, Charlie Penson. Well, you know he is. He's got a lot of protection back there. Matt Sloan found himself in the backfield with nobody to block because of the protection of that offensive line on that play. Yes, he had all day there, Chuck. He was over to the left and just kind of rolled back. Yeah, to the they're going to have to get some pressure on Willis because uh, Spriggs and Jervis, they have the speed and the size to eat them up in the secondary if they don't get any pass rush. Here's a handoff to Matt Sloan trying to break it to the outside around the left side. He gets down to the 11 yard line, brought down there, pick up of only a couple. And we're near the end of the first quarter, down now to 30 seconds remaining. With all the running we've seen, it's just flown by. It certainly has. And play clock starts. Prestonsburg does not have to run another play, but they're coming up to the line of scrimmage. Down now to 14 seconds. Second and eight for the Black Cats. From the Belfry 11-yard line, Willis under center, I formation behind him. He takes it. 
Gives it off to Fannin. Fannin over the right side. He's carrying would-be tacklers with him. He is so hard oh. to bring down, and he's down to the two-yard line, is it? He may have a first and goal for them. And does it look like he has the first down, Charlie? It's going to be close, but I believe he's going to have it. They're going to mark it right at the, just past the three-yard line, and I think it'll be a first down. The officials are looking to make sure right now. Well, that is the end of the first quarter, and uh, we'll let you know when we come back if it was a first down. So at the end of one quarter, your score, Prestonsburg 8, Belfry nothing on the Intermountain Sports Network. I wonder what that popping noise, noise is every now and then. I, I, I thought we got hung up there once. So you're not here? Oh, okay. It's like a click, you know, like a... Maybe well, that's I, my brain when I'm trying to think of something. Uh, and back here at Prestonsburg, Willis takes the snap, gives it off to Matt Sloan. He's up the middle, and he's very touchdown. close. He is in. It's a touchdown, Prestonsburg, as the Black Cats had a first and goal from the three-yard line. Matt Sloan right up the middle for the score. And Prestonsburg up now 14 to nothing as they score the touchdown here on the first play of the second quarter. That was Matt Sloan's 13th carry already uh, tonight. My, my. <laughs> He's the workhorse. Going for two again. Willis under center. And fakes the handoff. Whoa, and he's boy, hit in he the backfield. Hit. And the ball comes loose. Fake the handoff to Sloan up the middle, fake the end around to Austin Clark, and uh, by the time he got back set to pass, he got drilled. So the conversion no good. 11.55 to go in the first half. It's now 14 to nothing, Prestonsburg. I'll tell you, these Black Cats look impressive once again tonight. Well, while we got a little bit of a break in the action, I want to thank uh, Tammy Francis Lafferty, Larry Lafferty, Kim Reynolds, and uh, all the cheerleaders and players and everybody for the wonderful card they sent to uh, Ken and I. Uh, sure appreciate y'all's thoughts. And uh, yes, we certainly do. Yeah. We've, uh, Everybody's several. been just so nice to us down here this year, and it's like being with family. We've met some wonderful people and rekindled some relationships with people we've known over the years down here this year. And we've Truly appreciate everybody's uh, kindness and the hospitality here in uh, Prestonsburg. And Neely ready to kick it off now. He boots it away down the right side. It's picked up and returned up to the 28. Couldn't see the ball carrier's number there. That's B.J. Wallace, and he got drilled. I believe that was Kevin Jervis in on the hit. Had a good write-up in the Floyd County Times this week in Wednesday's paper, uh, a reference to Josh Francis Field, the Black Cats, the stadium, the game, what everything you know meant to them, and uh, it's a big game tonight. So, Belfry now with a first and ten from their own 28-yard line, and uh, this is a very important drive for the Pirates. They need to get some momentum going their way and try to get some points on the board. And off straight up the middle. Out across the 30 to the 31. And I believe that was Howard on the carry, Doug Howard. Picks up three yards. That'll be second and seven now for Belfry. Howard's found tough going in the middle of that uh, Prestonsburg line. He's run three times for a total of six yards. Yes, here come the Pirates. Daniel Wright under center. He takes it, hands it off up the middle, and a good run out across the 38 to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down, Belfry. I think that was Cottle that time, yeah. Jonah Cottle, great quickness as he hit that hole in a hurry. And uh, Charlie, only the, I think, the second carry for Cottle, but uh, he, he looked uh, quick on that carry. You know, Carlos got that kind of speed, and once he gets in the hole in the middle, he just accelerates so fast that he's going to pick up some positive yardage. I think Wright did a good job disguising the football or on that handoff. Uh, looked like the play was coming toward us, and it went straight up the middle to Cottle. Wright takes it and gives it to Wallace this time. And Wallace, a nice game down up to the 48-yard uh, line. Pick up a seven on the play. So Belfry now with a second and short. It'll be second and three. 
And the Pirates really are moving the ball on this drive. Wallace, not your typical fullback size, but he packs a lot of power into 160 something pounds. And that time he got it going forward. Right under center, second and three. He takes the snap, hand off to Howard, and he's hit immediately. That didn't fool anybody. And no gain on the play for Doug Howard. That'll leave Belfry with a third and three. Of course, B.J. Wallace, uh, one of the big heroes last week as he caught that big 56-yard touchdown reception. Uh, to, I think with the one that put Belfry ahead as they won 27 to 26 over at Breathitt County. Yeah, he's been a good, tough, short yardage runner. Whenever they need a yard, two, three yards to get a first down, he's been giving it to them all year long as well. And yeah, this is a big third down. It's third and three. Wright takes it, pitches it to Caudill, going over the right side. He's across midfield, the 45, the 40, and down. Let's see, they say he stepped out of bounds back at the 42-yard line, but a nice run by Caudill and another Belfry first down. About an 11-yard gain, and uh, Caudill finally getting untracked here. They didn't use him much in the first period, but he's got a couple of runs for a total of 20 yards here in the second quarter. Yeah, it's about actually at the 41-yard line. Nice pickup by Cottle. First and 10, Belfry. Nine minutes, 19 seconds to go here in the first half. It's 14 to nothing, Prestonsburg. Wright takes it. He keeps it himself over the left side, inside the 30, the 35, down to the 28-yard line. Good run, broke a couple of tackles on that run too. And the first time Wright's carried the ball tonight. Very good looking run there, Charlie. You know, that's true. Prestonsburg really felt like that was coming. They were looking for a veer or something coming out of that run out of the backfield, but just unable to stop Wright as he made a nice move at the line of scrimmage. Right under center. It's another first down. First and 10. He takes it. And I think that was Howard. Over the right side. And uh, who was the ball carrier there, Charlie? We couldn't couldn't catch it up here. I'm not sure. I think it was 34. I'm not sure who the, what the name on it is, but uh, uh, he had the ball. B.J. Wallace. Could have been B.J. Wallace then. But uh, he got inside the 25 to the 24, a four-yard pickup, uh, second and six. As uh, This Belfry running game, very impressive on this drive. Right under center. Takes a snap. Keeps it himself over the left side. And Got he's a inside of the 15 and down to the 10. A nice run by Daniel Wright. Finally brought down by John Hunt. About a 14-yard scamper to go with the 13-yard scamper he had a minute ago. And it will be first and 10 as he's just outside the 10-yard. Belfry can pick up a first down, but it would be in, inside the one. 7.50 to go here in the first half. 14 to nothing, Prestonsburg. Belfry threatening. Wright takes it, gives it to Wallace, and Wallace inside the 10, down to the seven yard line, it appears. A cup of nearly four on the carry. Second and six, and uh, It'll be big here if they can punch it in. Wallace now four carries for 14 yards for the Pirates. Daniel Wright under center. He takes it, pitches it to Cottle, going to the outside to the right. He cuts it up, gets inside the five-yard line, and let's see where they're going to spot him. Looks like they're going to spot him down at about the three, Ken, as uh, Belfry growing with confidence on every play of this drive. They're, they're doing a good job in the backfield. Wright doing an excellent job handling this offense. And it is at the three. That'll bring up a third down and two yards to go. As they Matt Setzer, number down. 33, getting a hand in there to kind of trip up Caudill, or I think he would have scored, Ken. He kind of got off balance and wasn't able to take it all the way. Right under center. And the ball Bob, pops. Oh, up. man, what a lucky save there. Yes, that's who we got there. Number 50. Kevin Yance. Kevin Yance in the backfield. I tell you, right, just to, <laughs> like a yo yo, pull that ball back in and into his uh, 
midsection after sticking it out there to be up for grabs. The ball all the way back at the eight yard line now and uh, Belfry's gonna take a timeout. So 6-13 to go in the first half. Your score, Prestonsburg 14, Belfry nothing on the Intermountain Sports Network. Hey. There you go, pay the bills, pay the bills. Right. Sydney, you can play a full minute here. That's uh... And we're back. Fourth and eight for Belfry. Wright takes it. He's back looking to pass. Throws it in the end zone. And it's Matt Hale. What a catch by Matt Hale as he goes to the ground to take it in. And touchdown, Belfry. Yes, a fine throw by Daniel Wright out there. Good coverage out there. And uh, Charlie, quite a catch out there by Matt Hale as he had to go to the ground to get that one. Well, I'll tell you what, that was great coverage. He didn't have any work, but Daniel Wright put the football in the only place that his man could catch it, and he did a great job of pulling it in just before he hit the ground. And well, for in position to kick the extra point. Joey Ramey, the kicker, spot down, it's up, and it's good, so. It's now Prestonsburg 14, Belfry 7, and I'll tell you, that was one fine drive by the Pirates. Sure was. Matt Hale about the closest thing to a wide receiver Belfry has. He plays the tight end spot. Belfry doesn't throw much, but I'll tell you what, he showed good hands and concentration on that one, pulling it in as he was falling. 6.07 to go here in the first half, and 14-7 uh, to 7 now. Regional championship action from Josh Francis Field in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. And uh, two fine football programs here, two, two, of the, two of the best coaches in the state of Kentucky. I say that. Without, first class programs and first class coaches. That's for sure. Philip Haywood has been in this business for years and years and uh, done a tremendous job uh, both here at Prestonsburg and then moved on to Belfry. And, uh, of course, Coach John DeRossett uh, just has to build a fantastic program here at Prestonsburg. Daniel Wright, kind of the big play man uh, in that last drive, had a couple of runs that totaled 27 yards and an 11-yard touchdown pass. So he's he just showing himself well tonight. Ramey kicks it away, a squib kick. Picked up at the 27, out across Setzer. the 30. The 35, and up to the 37 goes Matt Setzer. 10-yard return. And uh, Daniel Wright, very impressive running the option there. He hides the ball so well, uh, just, just hard, to, hard to handle. That's one of the most important things in that wishbone, uh, get everybody guessing as to who's got it coming through that line. <laughs> and here's Joey Willis under center. He takes the snap, pitches it to Fannin going over the left side. And oh, he boy. is hit in the backfield and down. knocked down for a loss. Yes, I'll tell you, this Belfry team fired up now as they came back to cut the deficit to 14 to 7. See what this flag's going to be, but it was in that line somewhere. I believe that's going to be face masking on the Belfry Pirates on that tackle. Oh, we will be holding. So. That's going to back it up 10 yards, unless they decline as uh, Fannin lost a yard or two on that carry. Yeah, he kept fighting. He had lost probably five, six yards, Ken, and then somehow got got through the middle of that pile of humanity and got up close to the line of scrimmage again. <laughs> He's a quite a runner. Yeah, as they take the penalty, backs it up to the 26-yard line. So it's going to be first and 22, it looks like. Willis under center. He's got the eye formation behind him. Takes the snap, gives it to Sloan over the right side. He gets up across the 30 to the 35, 34-yard line. Gain of about seven on the play. And that'll leave Prestonsburg with a second and 13. Five minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first half. Prestonsburg leading Belfry 14 to seven. As Willis under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. He takes it, 
Fakes the handoff to both of them, then throws it deep down the field Spriggs for Spriggs. Open. And what a play by Daniel Wright as he extended himself and knocked the ball away at the last moment. That was a fine defensive play by Wright. Got that hand on the ball because Spriggs had about a half a step on him and he was just waiting on it. It looks like the senior Daniel Wright has really come to play today as he's trying to lead Belfry in every aspect of the game as he just was just some great coverage. He's actually beat on the play in just a second effort to knock that one away. Great play by Wright. That's a third and long now. It's third and 13 for Prestonsburg. And here's a fake handoff and Willis gets away, throws it complete to Spriggs out across the 40. Good he's brought down at the 43 and well short of the first down as that'll leave a fourth and about six. Chris Walford and Daniel Wright on the coverage there brought him down. And good pressure that time on Willis as uh, he got hit uh, just after he, uh, he got in the backfield there. Just a uh, good job being able to keep his balance and get the throw off. So Prestonsburg in punt formation. And Neely kicks it. Good high kick. It's like Howard Hits and Boston. 30, takes a bounce, and it might have hit a Belfry player. And Prestonsburg comes up with it, but let's see. It did. It hit somebody down there. I don't know if it was a black cat or a pirate, but uh, looks like the ball's going to stay with the Belfry. Could you see who the ball hit down there, Charlie? Well, you know, I thought it hit somebody from uh, Belfry, but it's not going to matter anyway because there's going to be a legal motion called on the Black Cats, so they'll either Belfry will take it where it's at or they'll kick it again. And the illegal motion declined, so Belfry will take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Just four minutes, four seconds to go here in the first half. It's 14-7, to seven, Prestonsburg. And Daniel Wright under center. He takes it, keeps it himself over the left side. He's out across the 30, taken down out at the 32 yard line and we've got a late flag coming in. Maybe an incidental face mask as Wright's helmet was kind of knocked a little bit off the side of his head. Yep, it is a face mask. We don't need an eye in the sky, Chuck. We've got an eye right there on the sidelines that's catching everything. Good job, Charlie. <laughs> and it was incidental, five yards, and moves it out to the 37-yard line. First and 10, Belfry. Right under center. Long snap count. He takes it, gives it off up the middle, and not much there. Pick up of about two yards on the play, and I didn't see, that was Doug Howard on the carry. First man through. Howard has had a tough night, not getting much yardage in the middle of that Black Cat defense. Yes, he gets out to the 45, closer to a three yard pickup, or to the 40 yard line, excuse me. Be second and seven for Belfry. Yes, we're down now to the three minute mark to go here in the first half. Right under center, second and seven. And he hands it off. No, keeps it himself, and he's that across the midfield, thing. and right is gone. And Les Jamerson can run him down from behind. Jamerson dies, can't get him. Touchdown, Buffy. And what a play by Daniel Wright. 60-yard run, and it was set up by a beautiful fake on that handoff. Well, Charlie, everybody well, up here thought that he was it off. That was actually not a fake. He did hand the football off. It hit the ground, bounced up into his hands, and that's how he was able to run that one down the field. My, my. <laughs> a lot of break for the Pirates. As the ball hits the ground, bounces right back up to right, and he runs it in from 60 yards. Here I was giving him credit for being a magician, pulling that ball out after he, <laughs> after he gave it to the back. And Ramey puts up the extra point, and it's good. And what a ball game we've got on our hands. 2.43 to go in the first half. We're all tied up at 14 to 14. And we're going to keep it right here. 
And I'll tell you what, what a, what a comeback by these Pirates. After well, being we defeated. expected a close one tonight, and you can't get any closer than tied. So <laughs> this right. is a great ball game so far. Belfry could have just, you know, kind of withered away after Prestonsburg jumped out in front 14 to nothing. You know, they'd fumbled the football, but uh, they stuck to it. And uh, the last couple of offensive uh, possessions the Pirates have had, they've looked real good running that wishbone and that veer. You sure can't count this team out. Uh, they were down last week to uh, Breathitt County, 26 to seven with about seven minutes to go in the first half and uh, came back from that deficit to win. A lot of character. As Joey Ramey gets ready to kick off. Chris Spriggs back deep for Prestonsburg. It's a squib kick. Be taken at the 32 by Jamerson up across the 35 and across the 40. He's brought down, looks like around the 41 yard line. Nicholas Jamerson. You know, both teams tonight on the kickoff are teeing that ball up a little on the uh, little flat and trying to just kick it over the front line and, and keep it away from those speed backs like uh, 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 Prestonsburg's and Belfry's. Both teams respecting that speed. And the Black Cats now first and 10 from their own 41 yard line. Joey Willis under center. High formation behind him. And here's a handoff to Fannin over the right side. He's breaking tackles, gets across the 45 out to the 46. A five yard pickup for Fannin. And once again, Chuck, he got about two or three yards of that on his own after he was stopped. He just keeps driving and driving and digging and uh, just exactly what you want out of a fullback. He gets that tough yardage in the middle. Second and five for the Black Cats. As we're nearing the end of the first half, we've got two minutes, seven seconds to go. It's all tied up, 14 to 14. Joey Willis under center. He takes the snap, gives it off to Sloan. Sloan trying to cut it to the outside and breaking tackles. He gets across midfield down to the 47. A pickup of seven yards on the carry, and it's a first down Prestonsburg. But there's not enough time to uh, grind it out and put it in the end zone here. They're going to need to uh, either break one of those runs for a long pickup or, uh, or go to the air. We've seen so many big plays out of Prestonsburg this season, but in this game right here, Belfry's playing great defense, and the Black Cats are having to take three or four or five yards at a clip instead of 30 or 40 like they normally do. And we have an equipment problem out here. One of the Belfry players, official stops the clock. Going to take his helmet off. Stop the clock with one minute, 33 seconds to go in the first half. All tied up at 14 14. As Willis under center, I formation behind him. It's first and 10. He fakes it to Sloan. He's back looking to pass, looking deep, deep down the got middle. Clock open. Park. He's got it. Touchdown, Prestonsburg. 47 yards from Willis to Austin Clark. And what a throw by Joey Willis and uh, Austin Clark. Great speed out there as he had two or three steps on his man back he there. He had Wofford just totally beat that time. Well, we talked about big plays not happening for the Black Cats, and as soon as I said it, they got one. <laughs> Big play by the Black Cats as they go up now 20 to 14. And let's see if they're going for two again. And looks like they are. Willis lines up in the shotgun this time. Sloan to his right, Fannin to his left, fakes it to both backs, back it up. He's in trouble again. Oh, he's he's going to be sacked. Anything there. Back at the 15 yard line. So the conversion, no good. One minute, 18 seconds to go here in the first half. I and love the referee's signal just then. <laughs> Willis has got like four guys piled on top of him. He, he does the signal like the point, at, point after is no good. I'm like, <laughs> that was painfully obvious. And uh, quite a throw down there, Charlie. Did you get a good view of that? 
Oh, you know, we did. He made a couple of good fakes in the, in the middle, made a move. He was actually on some pressure and stepped up into the pocket and just let go of it. Coach Ross has been telling his backs, I mean, his wide receivers, that you can beat these guys deep, and they showed it on that one. Uh, yes, they did. I tell you, these, these Prestonsburg receivers have some speed, Chuck. You've got uh, Austin Clark showed there. He's got great speed, and then you've also got uh, – Chris Jervis, Chris Briggs, uh, these, these young men got some speed there. It's, it's tough to cover. When you've got one uh, one speedy receiver, you can uh, you can generally uh, range your defense to cover him. But they, they can got... run three or four in and out at you. Right. It's a squib. Oh, yeah. boy, they almost lost that one. Picked up back at the 27, out across the 30 to the 32-yard line. Didn't see who the ball carrier was. Ball hit Joseph Stanley, number 16, in the hands, and he let it kind of squirt through him, and then the man behind him grabbed it. Number three was the ball carrier. Doug Howard. Doug Howard on the carry. Tell you, that's what I think really gives Prestonsburg an advantage over a lot of teams they play. You know, they can sit there and run it at you all night long and grind it out three or four yards at a time and play the tough defense. But having that passing attack with, you know, big play receivers that have got the speed, you know, you don't often see that combination of a great running game, a great defense, and a great passing game all on one team. Right, right. First and 10, Belfie from their own 32, right under center. Takes the snap, hand off up the middle, and a nice gain out to the 39-yard line. Was that Howard on the carry? It was, Doug I think Howard. So. Picks up about seven yards. But uh, once again, the uh, grinded out running game's not gonna get any points on the board here. We're down now to 50 yeah, seconds. Yeah, they've got to go a chance half. to run it once or throw it a couple of times before the half ends. Of course, with the speed of uh, Daniel Wright and Jonah Cottle, either one of those can get outside. Uh, they can they can get there in a hurry. Cottle in motion. Wright pitches it to Cottle oh. just as he goes down, and he's out across the 40 to the 45, and that was very close to Wright already being down when he pitched it. I don't know if that his knee hit the ground or not. That was a dangerous pitch, too, but Cottle was right there on the spot watching that, and a nice little reception, and he picked up about eight or nine yards. First down, Belfry, as he went out of bounds to stop the clock with 32 seconds to go. First and 10 now from their own 46-yard line for the Pirates. Wing T formation again. And Cottle, oh, right back to pass it. Down the right side to B.J. Wallace. He's got it. Oh, oh and he can't hold loose. on. And Thought he had that one. Right had it. Right on the spot. Yeah, it looked like Wallace had it, but he got hit just as he brought it in, and the ball pops loose. Could have been another big play for B.J. Wallace. As you said last week, that big touchdown against Breathitt County. On a pass play. Same type of play there. Is it second and 10 now? Clock stopped with 26 seconds to go. Right under center. And off to Cotto up the middle, and nothing there. As he stopped right at the line of scrimmage for That's no game. probably going to be the last play of the first half unless they call a timeout. I believe Belfry's just going to let it run out. They've still got 54 yards to go, and uh, well, I take a chance. But what a first half it's been as uh, we are at halftime now, and your score, the Prestonsburg Black Cats 20, the Belfry Pirates 14. It's going to be a great second half of action, so be sure and stay tuned with us here on the Intermountain Sports Network. We'll kick it back to the station for a few minutes and uh, be back with some comments and second half action right here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Hey, Sydney. Uh, get all the spots played there and play some music and play the spots again. And you got, have you played Pinson Insurance any? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is Ken Hall along with Chuck Scoble and Charlie Pinson. Brian Lee on camera for WPRG TV5. It's halftime. Prestonsburg leading Belfry 20 to 14 regional championship action. And uh, Charlie Pinson, this has been quite a first half. Well, you know it has. Both teams have played exactly like we thought they would. Prestonsburg has kept the ball on the ground in the early going and then uh, went to the pass late in the ball game. And they've got the lead now. Uh, 20 to 14 over the Belfry Pirates, but Daniel Wright has been an ex has done an exceptional job today of running that uh, 
pirate offenses. He has done, made some amazing plays. He got the one, the one football bounced up. He picks it up, runs it about 60 yards in for a touchdown. You know, he, he gets, he's take, taking some hits, getting rid of the football, and, and making some great plays on defense. Uh, yes, he is playing a great all-around game, as you said. And uh, Chuck Scove, I think you've got some numbers for yeah, us. Yeah, we actually have some stats figured up for you on time this right. weekend <laughs> for uh, the Prestonsburg uh, Black Cats. Uh, Joey Willis, four out of six uh, passing in the first half for 116 yards and a touchdown. Also completed a pass on a two-point conversion. Matt Sloan, 15 carries in the first half, 68 yards and one score. Michael Fannin, five carries for 37 yards, and he also scored a touchdown. Uh, the leading receiver for the Black Cats, Chris Spriggs, he had uh, three catches for 79 yards in the first half, also carried the ball on an end around for seven yards. Austin Clark, one catch, but it was a big one, a 47-yard touchdown reception. For the Belfry Pirates, Daniel Wright, one out of three for 11 yards, but that one completion was an 11-yard touchdown pass to Matt Hale. Daniel also carried the ball five times for 85 yards in that first half, including that 60-yard touchdown run that he had. Jonah Cottle didn't get a whole lot of work in the first half. Six carries, 37 yards. B.J. Wallace, the fullback, four carries for 14 yards. And Doug Howard, seven carries for 15 yards in the first half. And there you have it. Good job, Chuck Scoble. But... Uh, very, very entertaining first half, and we expect much more of the same here as we're just about ready to start the second half, and uh, this game is uh, could go either way. It's both both these teams, uh, we've seen Prestonsburg last week, they came in here just leading six to nothing at halftime and really turned it on in the second half to uh, win 33 to nothing over Leslie County. And of course, uh, uh, Belfry showed too last week that they can be a strong second half team. As like I said, they were down 26 to seven to Breathitt, down 26 to 14 at halftime, and they came back for a 27-26 win. So uh, uh, this should be a great second half. Most of this game has been played between the tackles in the trenches, except for that one long run by Daniel Wright where Charlie spotted that fumble bouncing back up and into his hands, and he got a 60-yard touchdown run out of that, and the only big play really for the Black Cats has been that 47-yard bomb to Austin Clark, but everything else has been pretty much in, in the middle of the field. And we're about ready to go here for the second half. Prestonsburg will be kicking off to Belfry as Jonah Cottle back deep for Belfry. The upbacks are B.J. Wallace and Tyler Bostick. Aaron Neely gets ready to kick it away for the Black Cats. And here we go. It's a line drive down the right side. B.J. Wallace picks it up. And he's up the middle over the 30 and up to the 34-yard line, it looks like. Nice return there. It's about 20 yards by B.J. Wallace. Found that little seam there and broke right through. Got a good run back. And pretty good field position for Belfry to start this drive. It'll be first and 10 from their own 34-yard line. As we're ready to get the second half underway. 20 to 14, Prestonsburg leads it. Daniel Wright under center. He takes the snap, hands it off, and gave it to Jonah Caldo, I believe. Not much there. He gets across the 30. Five to the 36. Two yards on the carry for Cottle. Going to leave second and eight. Both these defenses have done a good job uh, stopping the key player for both teams. Jonah Cottle hasn't seen a whole lot of running room, and Matt Sloan, even though he has 68 yards, it took him 15 carries to get that in the first half. So. Both teams' defense and doing what they needed to do coming into this one. Yes, they are. Wright takes it, rolls out, pitches it back to Cottle over the right side. He's across the 40, the 45, and gets up near midfield. Pickup of about 12 there for the first down. And nice run by Cottle. Once again, a good job by Daniel Wright. Tell you, it's not an easy position playing quarterback in a wishbone offense. Uh, you've got to handle the ball real well and also you've got to be willing to take a hit because very often the defense is bearing down on you and you're getting popped when you're pitching the ball out. 
and Wright takes it. Goes over the left side and gets inside the 50 down to the 43 yard line. Another good run by Daniel Wright. And Charlie Belfry coming out here storming. You know, they are the Pirates offensive line showing up, you know, a little rest at halftime got them uh, regenerated and they're doing a good job up the middle and giving Wright time to make the right decisions. Yeah, as Daniel Wright picked up eight yards on that carry and leave second and short. Second and a short two, in fact. Right under center. Wishbone behind him. He takes the snap, gives it to Howard over the right side, and Howard gets the first down, it appears, as he's down to the 41 yard line. And that'll be first and 10 Belfry from the Prestonsburg 41. So Belfry driving. Trying to tie this thing up or take the lead. They trail it 20 to 14. People have been talking a lot about the seniors. Belfry's got a couple of good ones coming back. Doug Howard, just a freshman, and Jonah Cottle, a junior. He'll be back again next year. And Wright takes it over the right side, pitches it back to Cottle. And great tackle out there by That's Matt Setzer. You don't see many better open field tackles than that one, Charlie. You know, that's right. He had a good job reached out. He just grabbed him. Actually overran him, but just got out and got a hold of his ankle and pulled him down. And uh, had Setzer not made that play, Cottle had a lot of room down that right sideline, Chuck. Yeah, and he's got great speed, too. So that was a fine defensive play there by that Setzer, number 33. The loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second and 11 for the Pirates. Daniel Wright under center. He takes it. And keeps it himself, and he's brought down immediately. Matt Williams on the tackle. Fine play by Matt Williams. Yeah, and that's one of the few times tonight Wright has kept the ball and, uh, and couldn't get out of the backfield. Williams shooting in from his linebacker spot, stopped him cold. Yeah, as he got back to the original line of scrimmage, that'll leave Belfry with a big third and 10 here. 8.45 to go in the third quarter. Right under center, takes the snap. Yeah, he's back to pass. Down the right side, he's got his man. That's Matt Hale inside the 30, down to the 28-yard line. Another first down for Belfry. Hale doing a good job catching what few passes are thrown his way. He's holding on to, and uh, they've been big plays, both of them. First one went for a touchdown. This one goes for a first down. This is spotted right on the 29-yard line. First and 10, Belfry. Nice drive here to start this second half. Right under center, pitches it to Cottle over the right side. And he is drilled. The ball pops loose, but it's knocked out of bounds. Quite, quite a hit laid on Cottle there. Knocked the ball loose, but uh, Fortunately, he was very near the sideline. The ball just bounced into the Belfry bench. Loss of about two on the play there for Cottle. Uh, he had a couple of blockers out in front of him, but Prestonsburg attacking on defense in droves, and the blockers were overwhelmed that time. Uh, loss of two, and it's second and 12 now. Back at the 31-yard line. Here's Wright rolling out to the left, pitches it back to Wallace, and great pursuit by the Black Cat defense. Wallace picks up a couple of yards, and that's all. As they had Wright wrapped up, too, he barely got rid of that ball. Yeah, that one had me worried, but Wallace came up with it. Got a little bit of a gain out of it, but I, that one could have yeah. been a dangerous one there. Looks like Prestonsburg's picking up the intensity down there on defense, Charlie. Well, you know, that was, that was probably the perfect uh, option play right there. They had a man taking the quarterback and a man assigned to the pitch man, and they did a great job on it. It's third and nine now for the Pirates. Right rolls out, pitches it to Cottle, going out on the right side. And he's down the sideline, brought down around the, looks like the 21. Let's see where they spot the football. He dove at that marker up there. I think he's going to be a hair short, though, Ken. Thank Looks you. like they're going to mark him at about between the 19 and the 20, and he's going to be about a yard, maybe a yard and a half short. Yes. The ball down. It'll be fourth and less than two. 
And this is a big play here. That's one nice thing Preston about having territory. Charlie down on that field, we don't have to look at an angle and guess uh, where the ball's spotted or whether it's a first down or not. And Whoa. we've got movement. Uh, looks like Preston's Burke jumped offside. I didn't see any movement on the offensive line. Of course, I see the Prestonsburg coaching staff pointing at Belfry, but no, nope, they're saying offside Prestonsburg. So big break for the Pirates as they get the first down given to them on the penalty. Moves it down to the 15-yard line. So Belfry 15 yards away from tying this thing up. Well, the Black Cat coaching staff were unanimous in their thought that they, they had been drawn off. Daniel Wright under center. He takes the snap, hand off up the middle to Howard Orton. No, right. I lost the ball on that one. And who ended up with the ball there, Charlie? Wright held onto that one. Looked like he was trying to give it up on the belly up the middle, but uh, just, just decided to hold on to it. Somebody grabbed him by the legs before he could take off. So no gain on the play. It'll be second and 10 now as uh, Belfry took the opening kickoff here in the second half, and they've got almost a six-minute drive here, down to 6.25 to go here in the third quarter. Stanley so, now in at wide receiver for the Pirates. Right, rolls out to the left, pitches it back to Wallace, and he's down to the 10, brought down there. And a fine tackle there, Nicholas Jamerson ran Wallace down. Matt Sloan came in to help. About it right at the 10 yard line. Pick up a five on the play. That's going to bring up a big third and five here for the Belfry Pirates. So they're 10 yards away now from tying this thing up. Clock running, 5.48 to go in the third quarter. Daniel Wright under center. Third and five. He takes it. Keeps it himself over the right side, and he's not going to get much there. Might have got a yard, and that's going to leave Belfry with another big fourth down play here. Well, each time in the first half, just about every time they lined up in that kind of wing T formation, Ken right ran the ball on a keeper, and once again they lined up in that formation, and he kept it again. I think the Black Cats are figuring that one out now. And here we go. What a big fourth down play this is. Just inside the 10-yard line. Fourth and four for the Belfry Pirates. Daniel Wright under center. Long snap count. Trying to draw him off sides. And he gets it. Pitches it back to Cottle over the right side. And he's not going to make it as the Prestonsburg defense comes up big. Cottle picked up about three yards. He needed four. And nothing doing. The Black Cats have held. And they'll take over. And that, that's got to be disheartening for the Pirates as they had a, a seven, over a seven minute drive. They had the ball from the opening kickoff and we're, we've got 4.53 to go now here in the third quarter and unable to come away with any points. Prestonsburg first and 10 from their own eight yard line. Joey Willis under center. Hand off up the middle to Sloan and he finds a seam and gets out across the 15 out near the 18. He could have a first down. Looks like he's going to be short by about a yard. They're going to say his knee went down at about the 18-yard line. So that'll leave Preston's Burke with a second and one at their own 17-yard line. Willis under center, I formation behind him. Here's a handoff to Fannin over the right side. He bounces off the would-be tackler out across the 25, the oh, 30, move. the 35, the 40. Still on his feet. Finally brought down at the 47-yard line. What a run by Michael Fannin. 30-yard pickup for Fannin. Bounced off a couple of tacklers, did that patented spin move, and uh, got away from a couple more. Big gainer for the Black Cats that time. Great run by Michael Fannin. As we've seen him do that off season. He is so hard to bring down. So Prestonsburg now with a first and 10 out at their own 47 yard line and uh, Fannin got him out of the hole in a hurry. Yeah. 
Black Cat's coming up to the line slowly. Willis under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. He takes it, pitches it to Sloan over the left side. And he's across midfield, breaking tackle, still on his feet across the 40, the 35. And what a run by Matt Sloan. Thought they had him stacked up right around the 45. He went all the way to the 35. A 17-yard pickup for Matt Sloan. And uh, Charlie, it looked like he should have been tackled about three times there before he finally went down. You know, he's doing a great job out there, just showing that strength. And that's something that we thought might happen in this ball game is Belfry uh, goes a lot both ways. Prestonsburg goes with two, two squads. And uh, Belfry takes a timeout, so we'll take a short break. Your score, Prestonsburg 20, Belfry 14 in the third quarter, 3.37 to go right here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Better just play one spot there. We got, uh, we took some time there before we went to break. And we don't, and we don't want to give Chuck too much time to eat over here. He's munching down on some Fritos. And welcome back to Josh Francis Field in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. We've got 3.37 to go in the third quarter. Prestonsburg leading Belfry 20 to 14 and the Black Cats driving as they've got a first and 10 from the Belfry 35 yard line. As on two consecutive plays, Michael Fannin a 30 yard run and then Matt Sloan comes back with a 17 yard run to get Prestonsburg in good position. Willis takes the snap, pitches it back to Fannin over the right side. And he's breaking tackles again, still on his feet. And they finally blow the whistle and stop him. As uh, he, he does not lock the ground, Chuck. <laughs> no. I don't know though that, whether that was something that happened as a child or what, Ken, but he doesn't want to go down and hit that ground, does he? He certainly doesn't. As he gets down to the 32-yard line, pick up of th three, four yards on the play. Well, for everybody that's looking ahead right now, Ken, in the second half, Mason County up on Fleming County, 14 to nothing. Yes, Willis under center. Hands it off to Sloan up the middle. Whoa. And he jumps over a would-be tackler and gets in down near the 20-yard line. What a run by Matt Sloan. Pick, Pick up of 16 yards on the play. Looked like an Olympic hurdler there, Ken, as he took that, <laughs> just hurdled over somebody in the middle of the line there and went on down into the secondary to pick up some big yardage. Yeah, as Matt Sloan, one of those great backs that did, seems to get stronger as the game goes on. He's done that all season, Chuck. That defensive line got down real low trying to get the point of attack, and Sloan just jumping right over top of him. Willis takes it, gives it to Fannin, and Fannin hit this time and brought down Probably for a loss. Big play there by, look like number 66, uh, Josh Maynard. Nine tackle by Maynard. As he wrapped up Fannin low and took him down. Loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second and 11 now for Prestonsburg. From the Belfry 22 yard line. We're down now to two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Prestonsburg leading it 20 to 14. Willis takes the snap, pitches it to Sloan over the left side. He cuts now back toward the middle of the field, breaks a couple of tackles, gets inside the 15. The ball comes loose. And who's got Pirates it? Pirates say they have it. And they do. Belfry recovers the fumble. And a big break for the Pirates. Had Prestonsburg been able to complete that drive and take it in for another score, would have been uh, uh, quite a deficit here for the Pirates, so a big break as they take over on their own 11 yard line. Both teams now have threatened with their opening possessions of this second half and both teams have given the ball back to the other team. 151 to go in the third quarter. And got a flag we got a flag down, they're now. not ready as uh, Scotty Bell trying to trot off the field and they were already ready to snap the ball and he was still in the formation. So, too many men on the field for the Pirates. And Charlie looked like that was a case of uh, uh, trying to fight for that extra yardage uh, cost him a fumble, didn't it? Well, yeah, that's true. He got, he got out there and did refuse to go down and Belfry coming in, you know, hawking for that ball and just knocked it loose. There's the ball now back at the six yard line. It'll be first and 15 for Belfry. 
after the penalty. And Wright keeps it over the left side. He gets out across the 10, brought down at the 12, pick up of six yards on the carry for Daniel Wright. One of the few times that Wright has kept it himself on that wishbone formation. Going to leave the Pirates with a second and nine now. As the Pirates need a big play here to get some positive yardage backed up to their own 12 yard line. Second and nine. Wright takes it, hands it off to Cottle. Cottle gets loose. Oh. The 20, the 25, down the left side, the 30, the 35, and Nicholas Jamerson catches him from behind, pulls him down at the 45 yard line. 33 yard run there by Cottle, and that could have been a lot more if Jamerson hadn't tracked him down. Yes, good job by Jamerson. Excellent job. Jamerson, you remember, on the, the long run, touchdown run, 60-yard run by Wright, uh, chasing Wright down, almost got him before he got in the end zone, as Jamerson has good speed. And Belfry now with a first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. Fine run there by Jonah Cottle. Started up, up the run up the middle and uh, broke it back to the left side. Ends up down the left sideline for a 33 yard gain. Daniel Wright under center. Wishbone formation behind him. He takes it, gives it off to Caudill and Caudill drilled. Ball comes loose, but I think the whistle have already blown. Yeah, I think his knees were down on that carry. Did you hear the whistle before the ball came loose, Charlie? Well, I didn't really hear the whistle, but the officials were saying that he was already down by contact before the ball came loose. They didn't really realize the ball was loose. Yeah, as uh, Cottle picks up only a yard on the play. It'll be second and nine now for Belfry. Now, Jonah Cottle only had 37 yards in the first half rush, and he's already got 60 in this third quarter alone. Yeah, and officials stopping the clock now for some reason. I don't know what that was about. Thought they had blood on the elbow of the center. Okay. This will be the last play of the third quarter. Wright takes the snap, rolls out, pitches it back to Cottle over the right side. He's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. He's very close to a Belfry first down. As that's the end of the third quarter. We'll take a break and be right back. As your score, Prestonsburg 20, Belfry 14 on the Intermountain Sports Network. Yeah. Yep, yep. How's, how's the mini? 30. And we're back at Prestonsburg, ready to start the fourth quarter. Belfry did get a first down. It's first and 10. Handoff over the left side to Doug Howard and a nice gain. He gets across the 40 down to the, well, they're going to spot it right on the 40 yard line. That's the Prestonsburg 40. A five-yard pickup for Doug Howard, and it'll be second and five, Belfry. Howard, that tough running freshman, he's seen a lot of action from the opening gun this season, and he's going to be around three more years. We've got some uh, updates on the score here. Mason County still leading Fleming County, 14 to nothing in the fourth quarter, and the Paintsville Tigers leading Fleming Neon, 22 to nine at the half. Down there in the Dust Bowl at Neon, Wright keeps it, takes it up the middle, and he's down near another first down. Very close. And give us a prediction there, Charlie. Did he get it? No, I think he's going to be short by about a half a yard. Well, yeah. not even going to measure. Pretty easy prediction there. The official had already signaled it by the time you answered. <laughs> hey, take what I can get. <laughs> and it's third and very short. Less than a yard. Yes. Wright comes up under center. He's got the wishbone formation behind him. He's going to keep it. Flag and down. he's across the 30. Picks up about seven yards, but we've got a flag in the backfield. I believe that'll be illegal motion on uh, Belfry. Looks like somebody got it a fast start. And it is illegal motion. They'll back it up five yards and a big mistake, Chuck, as they had only a, a half a yard to go. And the uh, quarterback keeper, he picked up seven. Would have been a first down. Now they're facing a third and five. Not a whole lot of penalties in this ball game. Been uh, 
relatively well played. Uh, we've been down here on other nights, Ken and Charlie, where there have been a bunch of penalties flying. Yes, we have. Third and five, Belfry from the P. Berg 40-yard line. You've got Daniel Wright under center. And he keeps it, rolls out, pitches it back to Cottle. Cottle over the right side. And he gets down near the 36-yard line. He's going to be short of the first down by about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. And I think the Pirates will have to go for it here. We're down now to 10 minutes to go in the ball game. Prestonsburg leading it 20 to 14. And we've seen both these teams tonight put together long, long uh, drives, eating up the clock. So uh, you get down this close, you've got to take that chance. Both these teams have played pretty conservatively tonight, tried to hold on to the football and just drive it down each other's throats. And uh, between the 10-yard lines, both of them have been pretty successful. Right under center, third and short. B.J. Wallace gets the tough yards over the right side. It's a first down as he gets down to the 34-yard line. And, uh, Chuck, you've talked about him all season, how, how Wallace uh, comes through on those short yardage plays for these Pirates. He's certainly not built like your normal fullback, but he is a tough, tough short yardage runner. Only weighs about 162 pounds, Ken, but I tell you, he, it, it's got to be solid because he gets that two, three yards when you need it. First and 10, Belfry from the Prestonsburg 34. Daniel Wright under center, wishbone formation behind him. Prestonsburg leading it 20 to 14, nine minutes to go in the ball game. Here's a handoff to Whoa. Wallace again, and he's drilled in the backfield this time. Fumble, we've got a fumble, fumble on the play, and, and Prestonsburg has it. Brant Brooks, Matt Sloan in on the, the play. I know Brant, Brant Brooks really got a good hit in there on Wallace, and I think Sloan may have recovered the fumble. Yep. Brent Brooks, Tony White coming up out of that pile where that football came from. Not a whole lot of big defensive plays for Prestonsburg that Tony Watt's not somewhere around the ball. He's had a great season. Just a great, great defensive player. This defense picks each other up too because we'll call somebody's name uh, all quarter long and then somebody else will step in and star the next quarter or the next game. Uh, been a whole unit effort. As Matt Sloan gets the handoff, goes over the right side and gets very little, maybe a yard on the play. Bring up second and nine. Yeah, Belfry needs to hold here on this defensive stand and get the ball back. They're not a quick strike offense. They need four or five minutes to move the ball down the field if they follow their normal pattern. Second and nine for the Black Cats, and Willis comes out in the shotgun this time. He takes it, gives it to Sloan. Sloan starts the left side, now reverses field, back to the right. Willis throws a nice block. Sloan breaking tackles, and he's got a first down up across the 45 to the 47, 48-yard line. About a 12-yard carry there by Matt Sloan, and uh, reverse directions, Joey Willis throwing a nice block to aid him in getting those yards. Excellent block by Willis. First and 10, Prestonsburg now from their own 48-yard line. Well, Prestonsburg pulling out all the stops here tonight, Ken. They've got a couple of portable heaters on the sidelines. They've got oxygen on the sidelines. They are set and ready to go. As Willis comes out in the shotgun once again. Play clock about to run out. Get the snap off. Fannin over the right side. He cuts it back to the middle of the field. And he's across midfield, across the 40, the 35, and gets down to the 30-yard line. What a run by Michael Fannin. 22-yard pickup. Fannin, like I said before, doesn't have blazing speed, but he has got that nice shift in those hips. He can juke one way and jive the other, and the defense uh, missing him three or four times there on that nice run. That goes chubby checker moves, huh? Yeah, he's just got <laughs> he some <can>. real good <laughs> cut and spin moves. He sure has. What a potent backfield with these two running backs and Joey Willis playing so well at quarterback. Here's Matt Sloan over the left side. He's across the 20, the 15, and down near the 10-yard line. As Prestonsburg, another first down. Close to 20 on that carry. So after Belfry played the run real well, these last two big plays have got him in trouble. Prestonsburg knocking on the door in the red zone once again. 
And Charlie, who are you going to key on down there? Michael Fannin or Matt Sloan or Joey Willis? Well, I tell you what, right now, you know, both both kids are doing a great job, and that's something Coach uh, DeRossi and his staff have been watching. That they're just going to move it one side to the other. As Willis takes a snap, gives it to Fannin over the right side. He's under all kinds of pressure. Keeps it on his feet somehow. Cuts, changes direction. Look at this. Look, look at this. In the middle of the Touchdown. Field. Touchdown, Prestonsburg. What a run by Michael Fannin. Unbelievable. That's got to be about as good as last week's special play there, Ken. Yeah, mama. What a run by Michael Fannin. He, he must have changed directions <laughs> five or six times. Looked like he was trapped uh, about a half a dozen times for no gain. Yes, several Belfry Pirates had a shot at him and uh, just, just couldn't get him down. And nearly in to kick and Prestonsburg, some kind of mix up on the field. They've got to take a timeout. So 6.38 to go in the ball game. It's 26-14 Prestonsburg on the Intermountain Sports Network. It was incredible, wasn't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> <clears throat> Who did uh, you ever hear the UK score? They win big or <laughs> Francis Field in Prestonsburg as the Black Cats of Prestonsburg have just gone up 26 to 14 over Belfry with 6:38 to go in the ball game and uh, uh, what a, what an impressive drive, Chuck Scoble. I tell you, Michael Fannin has just impressed the heck out of me all season long with the run last week and the run he just made. <laughs> they got to go into the Willis highlight in the videos. shotgun and four receivers split out wide to the left here, and he throws it to Sloan. Got a flag. And it's going to come back. There's going to be a holding, I believe, yeah. over here on the outside. May have been Spriggs over there in that corner, number five. Somebody holding over there where that flag was thrown. So that'll back it up five yards, or 10 yards, excuse me. Uh, rather unusual formation down there, Charlie. You know, they look trying to spread that Belfry defense out and, and use the speed of Matt Sloan to get him over here on the outside. Let him go one-on-one -on -one with somebody. And that's not a job you want if you're a defensive back. Yeah, it's the ball all the way back now to the 16-yard line. And uh, Prestonsburg will go for two from that point. Willis in the shotgun, same formation, and they're gonna, no, now he's rolling out to the right side. He's in trouble, gets down the sideline and brought down around the five yard line, so the conversion no good. Walford coming up to make the stop for the Pirates. So 6.38 to go in the ball game. It's 26-14 now, Prestonsburg, and uh, I think we're gonna, have, Belfry's gonna have to open it up here a little bit, probably have to put the ball in the air. They've gotta have two scores. They can't put together one of those long drives on the ground. Wright has been successful throwing the ball tonight, but uh, it's not been in situations where he's been forced to, and you know Prestonsburg is gonna be laying a safety or another defensive back back trying to play that prevent because uh, normally when Belfry throws the football, they've only got one man out on a pattern. But you can never count this Belfry team out. They proved that last week. Playing at Breathitt County, trailing 26 to seven, and they stormed back to win 27-26. Aaron Neely ready to kick it away for the Black Cats of Prestonsburg. He boots a squib kick, hits Scotty Bell on the Yeah, leg, he better grab it. And Bell chases it down and falls on it back at the 37. Good heads up play by Scotty Bell. That's a live football. <laughs> of course, Bell had been uh, battered up here the last couple of weeks. Good to see him back on the field tonight playing. Right, right. He didn't play in the game a couple of weeks ago against Madison Southern, but uh, came back last week against Breathitt. Mm. Joey Willis turned his ankle this week, but uh, they've done a good job on him, and he certainly has had no after effects. Daniel Wright under center, and he's back looking to pass. Got all kinds of time. Finally, Not Brent now. Brooks gets him, and wrestles him to the ground. A quarterback sack for Brent Brooks. Great job. I'll tell you, Brent Brooks, uh, last week, Chuck, we talked about it. He was just, uh, he was in that backfield all night last week against, uh, on Chris Barger, the, the fine quarterback from Leslie County. Perfect size for what you'd want in a linebacker. 6'5", 
tall enough to create interference for the quarterback to see over, uh, got good pass rushing ability and also plays the run real well. Yeah, as Wright takes it, rolls out to the right, pitches it to Cottle. Cottle up the sideline, he's across the 40 and brought down at the 42 yard line, 43 yard line. Nice run by Cottle, picks up about 11 yards on the play. Still gonna leave Belfry with a third and five. Wright paid the price when he pitched that ball out. He got sandwiched and clobbered by two defenders, but uh, Cottle held on to the pitch and got some good yardage, so they've got a makeable third down play now. The winner of this game will advance on to state semifinal action to take on the winner of Mason County and Fleming County. Mason leading that game 14 to nothing, the last score we had. Wright takes it, he's back looking to pass. And now he scrambles and he's brought down. Brant Brooks once again gets him by the ankles and brings him down with a little help from, who was that, Chuck number 56, uh, Matt, Matt Williams. Williams. We've called his name a couple times tonight. Well, like I said, uh, Ken, they had two people out on a pass pattern that time, but they had four defensive backs dropping back to cover him, and even though Wright had time to throw, he didn't have anybody open. Excellent coverage by the Black Cats, and this is a big play here. It's fourth and seven, and uh, Daniel Wright steps up to the line of scrimmage and sees something he doesn't like, calls a timeout. Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna keep it right here on this one, but uh, this this is. I, I hate to say it already, but this is probably the ball game right here. If you don't pick up this uh, this first down, uh, Prestonsburg's gonna gonna start eating up clock. Only 4:27 to go, and uh, the Belfry Pirates have to have two scores. Prestonsburg's put themselves in a real good position here because Belfry does not like to throw does not like to be forced to throw the football. You know, they throw when they want to throw it, and they don't throw it that often. And when you're down by two scores late in the ball game, you're forced to put the ball up, and it's not something that they do real well on a regular basis. So the Black Cat defense, along with the offense, is you know created this this situation and, and it's a bad situation for Belfry and if you're a Black Cat fan it's a good situation because uh, kind of plays right into your defense's hands. And we just got an update from Fleming Neon as Paintsville leading Fleming Neon 36 to 22 in the fourth quarter. And here we go the big fourth down play it's fourth and seven for Belfry. Daniel Wright under center. Fakes the handoff to Howard. He's back looking to pass. He's got some time. Floats it out and almost, almost picked, picked off. off. Jamerson diving in front of number 16, Joseph Stanley. Stanley almost had that. Stanley came up with the ball, but it hit the ground first. Could you see it down there, Charlie? Yeah, he did. It looks like he just tried to scoop it up, and it did hit the ground. The official right on the call. And Prestonsburg takes over on the Belfry 40-yard line, first and 10. Only 4.21 to go in the game. Prestonsburg leading it 26 to 14. Black Cats getting good pressure from their line. Uh, Wright had both running backs out there blocking for him and was still getting pressure there. Had to get rid of the football and a low throw incomplete. As Willis brings him up. He's under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. He takes the snap. Gives it to Fallon over the right side. He's across the 35, down to the 30, and Flag down. down to the 25. Well, I, I'm not we sure. We may what. have a face mask. I don't see anything else that could have happened I down uh, there. I didn't see anybody blocking down there. I mean, no. Fallon was to the outside and uh, didn't, didn't need any help. You see? He yep. has a face mask. Well, those eyes work good for a man of your age, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> they worked real well when I met Rachel and married her, I tell you. <laughs> so. I have my moments. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, five-yard version of the face mask penalty. Takes the ball inside the 20, though, down to the 19-yard line. Clock running, four minutes to go in the ball game. Prestonsburg up 26-14 and threatening again. Once again on that running play, Matt Sloan threw a great block to take out the contain man to help Fannin get to the outside. Joey Willis under center, I formation behind him. 
Gives it to Sloan this time up the middle, and not much there for Matt Sloan. And I'll tell you, that's something uh, uh, both of these young men just do a tremendous job of blocking for each Very other. Very unselfish, and, and you can tell they played together for a long time. They know what each other's going to do, and they know how to get out and help them in front of the play. Matt Sloan coming off the field. Looks like he's took a look to the face, holding his eye or his nose. Might have got a lot of times when you're tackling or blocking, you get a finger up in that face mask and get poked in the eye. That's what happened. He got uh, got a finger in the eye. He's going to come over here and get it washed out. Looks like he'll go back in. He's just kind of squinting a little bit, trying to get that sting out. That's one tough young man right there. Second and nine now for the Black Cats at the 18-yard line of Belfry. Willis under center. Gives it to Fannin, and he cuts back from the right side back into the middle of the field. Gets about three yards, looks like, down to the 15. And this one swiftly getting away from Belfry. Down to yeah, Preston's board doesn't go. need to score again. They just need to just hold on to the football, and the clock is definitely in their favor, as you mentioned, Ken. And uh, just run a couple more plays, and even if they don't get the first down and score, Belfry's only going to have a little over a minute left to score two touchdowns. And Belfry has already used one timeout here in the second half. And Willis takes the snap, pitches it to Sloan over the left side, and he gets across the 10. Should be a first down. It is first and 10. Sloan just kind of got over there. Looks like he got crawled enough for the first down and just kind of stopped a little bit. Didn't want to get in too quickly, maybe. Now first and goal now for the Black Cats inside the 10 at the 9 and uh, 210 remaining in the football game. Yes. Prestonsburg comes up. Willis will be under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. Gives it to Fannin over the right side. Sloan throws a block and Fannin pulled down from behind. What a tackle. And number 64, I believe that's Adam Reed. And it is, what a tackle by Reed. No gain on the play, so it'll be, uh, yes, he did, he picked up a couple of yards down to the seven. It'll be second and goal now from the seven. Clock running with a minute 18, and looks like the Prestonsburg Blackcats will win a regional championship once again. And for the second year in a row, they advance to the state semifinals as Willis hands it off to Matt Sloan over the left side, and he cuts back. Touchdown, Prestonsburg. Matt Sloan puts the icing on the cake, but we've got a flag down. Back to the line of scrimmage, and we'll have to wait and see what the call is. 55, seen in the middle. Who's? Man, it's, yeah, it looks like it was a personal foul against Belfry, so the touchdown is good by Matt Sloan. And it's now 32 to 14, Prestonsburg. And this Prestonsburg crowd all on their feet. And what a season it has been for Coach John DeRossett and his staff and this fine team. Looks like they're going to play uh, Mason County if things hold up right now as we speak, Ken. Black Cat's going for two again. Willis under center. And he hands it off to Fannin over the right side, and Fannin's in. So it's now 34 to 14. The Black Cats lead it with one minute and one second to go in the ball game. And what a season it's been for this Prestonsburg team. Uh, got this new facility here, just a tremendous facility. You'll never see a, a, a better facility for a high school football team. This Chuck. field is just in wonderful, wonderful shape. You know, from the 
day that they started practicing on it to the day they dedicated it to, to Josh Francis to here. Now we're deep into the playoffs and the thing is in, in wonderful condition, which is very rare this time of year as the what a, uh, what a season it's been. As you said, uh, mentioned the field named after Josh Francis. Josh Francis, one of the key members of this football team, uh, lost in an auto accident just before the start of the season. It, it devastated this entire community and this football team, but uh, they, they've bounced back and uh, just done a, done a great job. They sure have, and one of the coaches getting a, uh, a bath over there <laughs> on the <laughs> sideline. I think John ducked out of the way and one of the assistants got the bath. That's why I'm standing out here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a thing of Gatorade or whatever for Charlie, Charlie out there. Yeah, there we yeah. go. He's done a great job all year long, too. We need to reward him. There you go. Good <laughs> idea, Chuck. Here's a kick. B.J. Wallace picks it up at the 12, out to the 20, the 25, the nice 30. move. Making some good moves out to the 40-yard line before he's finally brought Flag down. Flag down, late hit. And we've got a late hit on Prestonsburg. I believe that was Austin Clark came in there a little bit late. But the Prestonsburg Black Cats will advance on to semifinal action. They're going to be a tough team to beat. I mean, they've got good defense. They play the run pretty well. They play the pass pretty well. They pass rush. They can run the football. They can throw the football. The special teams are good. I mean, they're a good, solid, well-rounded football team. There's not any real weakness that you can come out and attack on the Black Cat squad. Absolutely. What a, quite a team. That's a great effort by this Belfry Pirate team. As right under center takes it. He's back, floats it out, and in and out of the hands of Matt Hale, I believe. Incomplete, stops the clock with 46 seconds to go. It's 34-14 Prestonsburg. Well, Hale had made a couple of nice catches tonight. That one to him, but he couldn't hold on to it. It'll be second and 10 for Belfry. Yes, yeah, right under center. Cottle goes in motion. Right rolls out, pitches it to Cottle over the right side. And Chris Briggs right there to take him down. A fine open field tackle by Chris Briggs. Look for a minute there to me, Ken, like Cottle was thinking about a halfback option there, a pass or something, but he pulled it in because uh, Spriggs was bearing down on him. Right. Uh, he, uh, he came to a complete stop there. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking the same thing. Is he going to throw it? Well, this probably will be the last play of the ball game and the last play of the season for the Belfry Pirates. Right back. Plenty Lots of time. Of time. To throw. Floats it out to John Cottle on the left. He's down across the 35. Brought down at the 32, and that's the ball game. The Prestonsburg Blackcats, regional champions, as they win it 34 to 14 over the Belfry Pirates. And the fireworks are blasting here in Prestonsburg. And we've got Charlie Pinson down on the field. Hopefully, uh, we've got Charlie out here hoping to get a get an interview here with uh, Coach DeRossi. But congratulations to Coach John DeRossi and uh, this fine, fine football program he has here. And uh, let's see. Coach DeRossi is a little bit excited right now. Well, I'll tell you what, we're down here with Coach John DeRossi, who just won his second uh, regional championship here at, Bel at Prestonsburg over the Belfry Pirates. Hey, big win. Belfry brought a great football team in here. They was well prepared in that first half. I tell you, my also was flared up, but uh, <laughs> these boosters are going to have to buy a regional championship shirt now, Charlie. They bought us a district. I didn't know if they was going to have to buy us a region. Now John Earl's got to spend a little more money and get us a regional shirt now. Well, John, you know, you were able to get the ball on the ground, and Matt Sloan and Fannin did an excellent job for you in the backfield today. Well, being conservative and win more games for you than lose, and we were conservative. We kept ball on the ground. Had a good defensive plan, and it come out second half. Kids got focused at halftime. So proud of these kids. 
they've been through so much this year, so many tragedies. And I'm telling you, they bounce back. They bounce back. We're going, we're going to Mason County or Fleming County to win. Looks like you're going to Mason County as they're ahead late in the ball game right now. So it's going to be a long trip for you next week, but one you're looking Jeremiah, forward to. Baby. Jeremiah, best in the land. How about Jeremiah? <laughs> <laughs> And that was Coach John DeRosset of the Prestonsburg Blackcats. Coach DeRosset a little bit excited as he's won his second regional championship in a row here at uh, Prestonsburg High School in what was a great football game. And good job there, Charlie. We're going to kick it back to the station for a short break, and then we'll be back up, uh, be right back with the wrap-up of this game as your final score, Prestonsburg 34, Belfry 14. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. <laughs> Are you done down here? Yeah, Chuck Scoble, he's got some numbers for us. And take it away, Chuck. All right. Well, Prestonsburg didn't do much throwing in the second half. John DeRosso talked about playing it conservative. They ran that football. Uh, Matt Sloan in the second half, 11 carries for 94 yards and a touchdown. He finished the game with 26 carries, 162 yards and two touchdowns. Michael Fannin had a great second half, seven carries for 87 yards and a touchdown. Uh, he finished the night with uh, um, 12 carries for 124 yards and uh, two scores. So Sloan and Fannin both going over 100 yards apiece and both scoring twice. Uh, Chris Spriggs finished the night, three catches, 79 yards. Also had one run for seven yards. Austin Clark, one catch for 47 yards, but it was a big one, a touchdown catch for Austin. Uh, Joey Willis, four out of six passing. Uh, all those passing yards coming in the first half. Daniel Wright led the way at quarterback for Belfry, carried the ball 13 times for 95 yards and a touchdown. He was three out of six throwing the football for 40 yards and a score. Jonah Cottle uh, had a big second half, kind of quiet first half, came up with 77 yards in the second half, finished with 114 yards on 18 carries. B.J. Wallace, eight carries for 25 yards on the night. Doug Howard, nine carries for 23 yards on the night. And uh, Matt Hale, the big receiver for Belfry, two catches for 25 yards and a score for the Pirates. But uh, Prestonsburg's defense uh, overall played real well. Uh, they shut down Wallace and Howard and uh, saved for a couple of little runs by Jonah Cottle. Uh, they kept them, kept them in check in the second half. And there you have it, the Prestonsburg Blackcats, regional champions, 34-14 over the Belfry Pirates, and congratulations to Coach John DeRossett once again and his uh, his fine football team here, and, and uh, what a staff uh, John's got got here helping him too. His brother James, uh, Jackie Bush, just, uh, there's just so many. Uh, Great so much, booster so much program Great here. Boosters. Got lots of parents and boosters involved, making everything click and everything top-notch, first class. Uh, I tell you, from A to Z, they've got it covered down here. And uh, uh, very touching as they've got uh, the jersey of Josh Francis out here on the field. Of course, this field named after Josh Francis, and uh, uh, just a just a great win for this team. But it's good good to see them come away with the regional championship here after all the adversity they went through to start the season. And uh, uh, congratulations to them once again. So uh, be sure and be with us next week as we'll be bringing you state semifinal action from either Mason County or Fleming County, and. Uh, uh, we'll be following these Prestonsburg Blackcats. Hopefully we'll be, uh, be bringing the action in Louisville in two weeks as uh, in the state championship game, but uh, uh, that remains to be seen. I know lots of places to go in week. Louisville, Ken, so oh, we'll okay. have to plan on that now. <laughs> okay. I know all the good places to eat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Lee's going to like to hear that. Well, Charlie will like to hear that, too. We'll have to take him along. Uh, yes, sir. What makes you think I eat a lot now? <laughs> Well, that's going to uh, wrap us up tonight. And uh, once again, uh, congratulations to the Prestonsburg Blackcats as their regional champs. And uh, congratulations to, uh, also to Coach Philip Haywood and the Belfry Pirates on another great season as they reach the regional championship game and only to go down to defeat to the Prestonsburg Blackcats. Your final score, Prestonsburg 34, Belfry 14. And for Brian Lee on camera, for Chuck Scoville, for Charlie Penson down on the sideline, this is Ken Hall saying thank you and good night.